What is home? Is it a physical place? A familiar feeling? A person or people? As I come closer to my first day of college, I'm beginning to realize all of the pieces of good old Everson, Pennsylvania that I'm gonna miss. So I wanted to do something that would never let me forget why I love home so much. These are my three friends. JP, my brother from another mother who is one of the funniest people I know. Sarah, the most kind and caring soul on the face of this planet. And Gabby, the only person who will ever be able to match my chaotic energy. We all met in Latin class almost two years ago and immediately hit it off. But after spending a year not talking, we grew the closest in my final year of high school. We named our group the Core Four and had countless unforgettable memories, creating the most fun-filled and spontaneous year of my life. So before I leave for college, I wanted to show my appreciation in the only way that I know how. By doing something so ridiculous that the only person that thinks it's possible is me. Hi, is there any way that I could speak to a manager or owner? Hang on, I'll check. Hold on. Are you like trying to solicit something? Like coupons or stuff like that? No, no, no. Advertising? No. I'm an artist that's been working around the area lately and I know you guys have a lot of some pieces that are hung on your walls. And me and my family are big fans of the restaurant, so I just wanted to talk to somebody if there was a chance that I could hang up one of my new pieces. Perfect, thank you so much. Let's go, yes! <laughs> With zero artistic ability or experience, I set out to create a painting that represents my friendship, pose as a professional artist to the place where the Core Four first got together, and get my artwork hung inside the building to be showcased forever. I need to make a painting. Okay. Do you like have any right now? Yeah, like right now. Like I'm home. Do you just want to come over? Oh, sure. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Did you find what you had before? Can you see what you want to ignore? Yes, there's no doubt about it. Did you buy what you can't afford? You waking up on the kitchen floor? Yes, there's no doubt about it. Poor baby. How's that, Nancy? That's great!
Yo. Hello. All right, so I'm FaceTiming you now because it's gonna be kind of hard to tell like what's happening. So two days ago, I was thinking of stuff that I could like get you guys as like a gift before we both leave. And I couldn't really think of anything. But then I got a really crazy idea because I saw it somewhere. So I called two days ago, I called The Ridge, asked for the owner and told him that I was an amateur artist that I wanted to put a piece in the restaurant. And they said yes, but I made a painting and I named it Core 4 and I got it put in the ridge. So it's hanging in there right now. It's on the wall. <laughs> That's so sick. Yeah. That's gonna be so sick. Yeah, I know. All right, I'll call you back when they get here. See ya. All right, later. Is Nancy here? She is. Can I talk to her quick? Uh, about the babies? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So. So, I thought of a gift that I could give all you three before we leave. So these are my friends. Hi, friends. This is who I made it for. So, I made it for you guys. And JP. And JP. So I made a piece. <laughs> oh my god! He made it too! Whether you decide to define your home as somewhere, something, or someone, never take it for granted.